Guys, have you ever had this? You go through, you grade a project, it's looking amazing. Full of contrast, the skin tones are perfect. And then you hit export and you get this. The skin tones are all off, the blacks are lifted, the highs are lifted, and overall it just looks washed out. I know I have, and for two years we've struggled with this, but with Dimitri Resolve 17, we've finally got to the bottom of it. So this mm. is how you get the perfect colors on a Mac screen. It can be a P3 wide gamma screen. Um, you don't need expensive external monitors or color calibrated workflow um, for this to work. You just need the right settings. So without further ado, here they are. The first thing you wanna do is make sure you've hit preferences and make sure, go to general, use Mac display color profiles for viewers is ticked. That's gonna tell DaVinci to emulate the P3 wide gamma that your Mac needs to view it. You hit save, nothing's changed. You think that's not the problem, but it just needs to be on. The next thing you need to do is go to your project settings, go to color management and change this, which is on default at gamma 2.4, gamma 2.4 to rec 79A. I'm gonna assume A stands for Apple. I don't know what it means. If you let me know in the comments, that'd be grand, but it fixes the problem. If you watch the contrast now, you'll see it revert to what you actually get in the export. There you go, desaturated, looks like what we've got. So guys, what you're seeing in QuickTime is correct, but that's not the end of the story. You need to make sure that the workflow is Rec.79 from beginning to end. So in your deliver settings, when you export the project, you need to make sure that you've clicked advanced settings and that this is showing Rec.79 in the, the color space tag and the gamma tag. By default, it will be on same as project. I wouldn't trust it. I'd make sure it's manually selected to Rec.79. Then when you export, it will look identical. Of course, now we need to go through and regrade because what we're doing here, what, what we were viewing here was wrong. So we need to regrade. Luckily, I've already done that to speed things up. There you go. So then when we hit export, we get the correct image that is contrasty. It's as we, as we graded it. Um, and this is gonna view like this everywhere. Doesn't matter what screen you're on. It's gonna be a Rec.79 gamma tag and it's what we wanted when we graded it. So I hope that helps. It took me two years to figure out. You don't need, well, obviously it's better to have a color calibrated monitor, but you don't need one. You just need to be viewing the correct color space and the gamma tag. If that's helped, like, subscribe and share. It might help someone out there who is suffering the same as us. You, you shouldn't be using emulation LUTs to put that contrast back in. Uh, there's another problem with um, the wide gamma screens using Premiere and After Effects. There's ways to fix that too. That's coming up in a later video.